Hey everyone, Kaylee here. So for our last Make It or Break It Monday of February, I'm going to go ahead and just do my February favorites and let you guys know what I was loving this month. I think we have a couple cool things to talk about, so that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. Starting off with hair stuff, I have these Ology products that I have re fallen in love with. I have the moisturizing conditioner, which I've talked about before, and then I have the volumizing shampoo, which I just bought this month. These are also both um, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and silicone-free. They're also free of dyes, artificial fragrances, and there is no animal testing, and the bottle is made from 100% um, post-consumer material. So that's awesome. The only caveat that I have to add to this is that this has mild sulfates in it. I don't really have time to go into this in this video, but there are basically the camp of really bad sulfates that are harmful and irritating and can be toxic or considered by some people to be toxic. And then you have on the other side of the fence, then you have like the mild, nice, non-harmful, non-toxic sulfates, and that's what's in here. So if you read the ingredients and you get confused, that's why it says it's sulfate free because it's bad sulfate free so I don't have a problem using it um, but you know of course use your own discretion you can always read and google the ingredients in a shampoo and make sure that you're okay with it but anyway these retail at Walgreens I really like them and that is basically all I have to say for my second one you guys have already seen this quite a bit this month but it's the L'Oreal Paris Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray I've already done a whole make it or break it Monday on this one so if you want and in depth review, you can look there. Just overall, it's been my favorite heat protectant from the drugstore that I've tried recently. Um, just because I like the softness that it gives my hair and the shine that it gives my hair, I find that it works really well, and I like the way that the product dispenses because it doesn't end up making like certain parts of your hair wetter than others. It's a very even distribution. So yeah, really like this one. Another huge favorite for February was bronze eyeliners. And I started wearing them on my waterline. Whichever one the lower one is, and I always forget it like when the camera is on and I'm recording, which is embarrassing because I'm a beauty girl. Anyway, I've been wearing it on the waterline and then somewhat underneath because I don't really like to wear black right there because then it closes my eye off too much. But this adds just the right of shading to where I have some shadow there and I have some dimension there, um, but it's not so harsh as wearing like a black eyeliner. This is also just a great universal color for basically any eye color. It's going to bring out whatever hues you have in your eyes. It will definitely bring out blue and green, but it will also bring out a lot of the warmth and brown eyes. So overall, it's a really great color to try. And so I just like it for a nice, like, simple, um, very subtle kind of lining on my lower lid. It's been perfect. Now, I'm usually an all or nothing kind of makeup girl. I either have like everything on or nothing on when it comes to makeup, but sometimes I'm in the middle. Sometimes I like to just put on a little bit of makeup. And when I do that, I've been going for this product. It's the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Concealer. And this is amazing. It's for your under eyes and it's a little roller ball. And basically it has both like I think anyway that it has a little bit of like a serum and concealer mixed in together. It feels really good when you apply it because it's got a really cool metal tip. Um, so the cooling effect on your under eyes is very nice. But the concealer also works really, really well. So it's a great on-the-go kind of application and product. It's something that you can use in just a couple minutes and get really great coverage from it. So if you're not somebody that likes to wear a lot of makeup or you find that you're often in a hurry or you just want to get those under eyes covered quickly, it's perfect. Like, I really, really enjoy it, and I'm pretty picky about under eye products, so I think that it's fantastic. I've seen this one in both of my makeup tutorials this month. This is the NYX Mosaic Powder in Dare. I love this blush. It's really, really pretty. It's very similar to Benefit's Raconteur. It's just a little bit warmer, but it's very, very pretty, very easy to wear. It does have a subtle shimmer to it. I don't think it's anything that's too over the top. But it's just enough to kind of give you a nice, dewy, healthy skin look while imparting a great color to your cheeks. I think it's a really good color for a lot of different skin tones as well. Clearly it works on very fair skin, but I think it would work all the way up to medium skin. I think it would work really well on those. And like I said, it's just a beautiful, easy to wear color. The blush has just enough pigmentation to it that you can just throw it on and go. So you don't have to worry about over applying or under applying and it lasts pretty well throughout the day. So I've been a huge fan of this blush this month. So now I have nail polish favorites to tell you about. They're both by Formula X for Sephora. The first one is Love Chemistry. I have worn this one. I wore it all through December and halfway through January. It was on my nails all the time just in different forms. I love this. It's a gold glitter base and then it has different sizes of very light like blush pink glitters in it. And that sounds like it wouldn't work, but it totally does. Like it, I always loved gold glitter. Gold glitter is one of like my favorite kind of nail polishes to wear. But this is by far my favorite one that I own. And I just, yes, you have to check it out because it's amazing. Next one I have on my nails right now, this is Catalyst. 
And I got turned on to this one by Makeup by Tiffany D. She hauled this and I saw it on her video and I was like, that looks way too beautiful for me to not own that. It's a royal blue and it also has different colors or I mean different sizes of glitter in it. I wear both of these over um, other colors just to make them more opaque. These glitters are fairly opaque on their own. They go on fairly well. Um, underneath this one that I'm wearing right now, I just have a royal blue um, nail polish right underneath it. And then I have one coat of this on top of it. So you can see just from how my nails look that this is very opaque. I just like to put a um, kind of solid color underneath it to make these colors pop just a little bit more. But overall, the wear time on these is wonderful. The color selection that they have in store is amazing. Like seriously, every time I see these, I want to go away with like 20 of them. Because I've been using so much glitter nail polish, I have been loving the Julep Parties Over Glitter Removal Nail Polish Kit. And this basically has replaced my old method, which was the aluminum foil method. I was buying my um, January box from Julep and this was an add-on and I was like, well, if that works, that will be awesome. So I decided to try it out and I love it. It comes with um, these little, I'm going to call them finger hats. And basically they do the same thing that the aluminum foil does, they're just a lot neater. So you get your fingernail removal stuff that you want, whether it's a cotton ball or a pad or whatever, and you, you know, get it soaked in a nail polish remover, and then you take the little finger hat and you squeeze it so that it opens up, and then you stick your finger with the nail polish removal stuff on top of it, into it, and it kind of clamps down. It's very comfortable, but it definitely holds it tightly, and it holds whatever it is against your nail polish so that it can soak on there long enough to kind of dissolve everything, and then you can just pull it off, and it's all gone. So it's really easy to use. It's meant to be used with the Julep Clean Slate Nail Polish Removal Pads. They are very, very thin and they come like pre-soaked. And I definitely use those. I actually have two boxes. I have them right here and right here because um, I bought them whenever they were on sale during holiday time. But if you don't have those, you could also use this with cotton balls. I just use really cheap cotton balls, um, like the CVS brand ones, because they're smaller than the more expensive ones, and so they fit into these little finger hats very easily. And yes, I think it really works, especially if you are a glitter and nail polish-aholic like I am. It's a good thing to have. And this is extremely random and not sponsored whatsoever. I went out and bought these on Amazon because they were super cheap there are Steripods, and um, you've probably, if you watch a lot of YouTubers, you've seen them before. Um, they basically just clip onto here, they have some little packet in here that releases like germ-killing stuff, which is nice. Basically for me, we have like our sink with our toothbrushes and toiletries and stuff is far too near our toilet for comfort, so I decided to get these just for sanitary purposes. Um, so I like that it clips on and at least like physically protects my toothbrush and it's good that it has the little germ killing stuff inside of it because I also really like that. I used to have a toothbrush sanitizer but it kept dying all the time so I finally just gave up on it. So hopefully these will do a lot better or will work better for me. It's also great for travel. So if you, like me, are perturbed by how close your toothbrushes are to your toilet, it's a good option. Sorry to be a little gross but let's be real y'all, these are concerns that we have to think about. So that's it guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you guys tomorrow with my next video. Mwah! Bye!